Okay, in this video, we are going to have a look at watchdog timers. Now, most microcontrollers have them on board, so we're going to have a look at the watchdog timer on our Arduino Nano, which has an Atmega 328P microcontroller. Now, we use watchdog timers in critical applications where you could have a system hang up, where your program freezes, or you could have runaway code. Now, the watchdog timer will detect this and reset your program. Now, a watchdog timer is basically a countdown timer. Now, you've probably seen these in movies and TV where the bad guy starts a self-destruct counter and it starts counting down and the good guy comes in and tries to reset it or stop the counter from, from going to zero. Now in a microcontroller, if the watchdog timer times out and it, it times out to zero, basically what it's going to do, it's going gonna, it's gonna to reset the microcontroller and it's the same as pressing the button, this reset button, on the Arduino Nano and you can see my program reset and my LED went out. Okay, here's a program that's running on my microcontroller. So basically it's a begin again loop. It's a continuous loop. Now inside this loop I have lines of code. You can see I have hundreds of lines of code that make up my main program. Now I start my watchdog timer with the command WD plus and 7 sets the timeout interval to 2 seconds. So my code starts to run. Now inside my code I've put these commands CWD, clear watchdog, I've spread them out throughout my code. So as my code is running, it's hitting these commands and clearing the watchdog timer. So as long as there's, there's activity and my code is running properly, it's going to be hitting these CWD commands and keeping the watchdog timer from timing out to zero. But if my code hangs up, or if I get runaway code, and it, or it freezes and stops, now there's no activity in my code, so now the watchdog timer will time out to zero and reset the microcontroller. Okay, I'm going to run a program that's going to demonstrate the workings of the watchdog timer. Now in this program, there's going to be a do-nothing loop. So in this loop, if the watchdog timer is not reset in two seconds, it'll reset the microcontroller. So when I hit any key on the keyboard, that's going to send out the CWD command to clear watchdog, and that's going to reset the watchdog timer and keep it from timing out. So when I activate the program, the LED will come on, and then I'll have to hit any key on the keyboard to keep the program from from timing out with the watchdog timer. So as long as I'm hitting any key on the keyboard, I'm sending the CWD command to reset the watchdog timer within that two second time interval. So if I stop hitting the keys for two seconds, it's going to time out the watchdog timer will time out my program and reset the microcontroller. So I'm going to stop pressing the keys on the keyboard and after two seconds you can see it timed out and reset the microcontroller. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer. It's connected to my Arduino Nano. So I'm going to run the same program and we can actually see the action of the, of the watchdog timer. So if I press the reset button on the Nano, you can see I'm getting a hello prompt from my flash forth. And you can see in the very first line is E. Right there, that stands for external reset because I pressed the button. If I press the button again, the reset button on the Arduino Nano, I get the E. So I'm going to run the program. It's called Watchdog Timer. Now I have to hit any key on the keyboard to send the CWD command to keep it from timing out. Now if I stop hitting the key after two seconds, it reset. And you can see now there's a W that stands for Watchdog Reset. So the Nano saw that it was reset using the Watchdog Timer. Okay, here's the code that's running on my Nano to test my watchdog timer. And the program is called WDT Watchdog Timer. So there's three commands that I use in my code for my watchdog timer. The first one is WD plus that enables the watchdog timer. The second one is WD minus that disables the watchdog timer. And the third one is CWD, clear watchdog timer. So those are only three that I need, the three commands that I need to write any code that involves the watchdog timer. So we start out the program. Pin 8 is configured as an output. That's the pin that's connected to my LED. Then pin 8 goes high, so it turns on the LED. Then I go watchdog timer enable with a 7 in front of it. That sets the, the watchdog timeout interval to 2 seconds. Then it goes into a begin until loop. This is a continuous loop. Now if I don't hit any key on the keyboard, it's going to go from begin to until and do that over and over again. And after 2 seconds, the timeout timer, the watchdog timer will time out and reset the microcontroller. But if I hit any key on the keyboard, 
it'll detect it and it will send out the CWD command which will clear the watchdog timer and it'll also print it to the screen at the same time. Now I also have a back door if I hit the escape key that's ASCII 27 it'll come out of this loop and it will uh, disable the watchdog timer. So that's the, that's, the, that's the program there it's pretty simple to test the watchdog timer. Okay here's the data sheet for the Atmega 328P microcontroller and we're looking at the watchdog timer prescale select. So this is where we select our timeout interval. Now you can select a timeout interval from 16 milliseconds all the way up to 8 seconds. Now in my code I use 2 seconds and I use the value 7. So you can see here in binary it would be 1, 1, 1. That would be 7 equals 2 seconds. 6 would be 1 second, 5 would be half a second. So you could pick your timeout interval that you want in your application and apply it to the WDP register and then I'll give us give you your interval timer for your application. Okay so that was my primer tutorial on watchdog timers. So if you're building a critical application you could consider using a watchdog timer in your code. It's more of a safety feature if you're running say a conveyor belt or a motor or any type of machinery and your computer hangs up or your code hangs up you want to be able to shut it down safely and shut down the system. So I hope this video gave you some ideas how you could use a watchdog timer in your application.